We just caught him. We're gonna let the restaurant owners know. Yeah, I know, but we we have to let the uh, owners know that there's iguanas because yeah. iguanas are taking over the state of Florida. I They're invasive. You guys work for a company or something? Yeah. Like a pest control company. All right, boys. There you have it, right there. We're gonna go the other side. Check that out. Impressive, man. Impressive. And guys, not to worry, okay? We are doing the removal, but remember. People call iguanas chicken of the trees. Why do they call them that, Iguana Ninja? Well, a lot of people say they taste like chicken. That's like the number one thing. I'm gonna bleed him. Really <laughs> now. But once they get a little bit bigger. They that's... will be assassins. Whoa, whoa. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Whoa, look at it, it's like a duck platypus thing. Wow. Get him in, let's go! Oh, Paku. this is a, the biggest Paku red belt. It's a shark. Swimming by, Mr. Shark. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. Into Alphanus. It's like a sidewinder. Uh, there, just like that. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it has. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. We're back at you guys with another video. If you guys want to see how we caught all these iguanas, like, comment, and hit that red subscribe button. There's one right there. Nice hip. All right, guys, good morning. It's your friend, Raj the Iguana Man. Back at y'all with another video. Right now, we are at our church daycare removal job. This is about day three of us being out here. So we're with uh, Iguana Ninja. We got Air Canyon right there. We're gonna see if we can bag some of these silly iguanas. He's done. He's a little small. He's running though. Yeah, take him out. Trying to get in the trap. There's two by the trap. Done. Done? There's two by the trap. Yeah. Yeah. Always trying to break inside here for whatever reason. Now got me inside here. Moving a little bit. All right. Just, just as expected, boys. There's holes, and that's a pretty decent sized hole right there. Okay, we're gonna put a trail camera here. And we're gonna put some traps. Stay tuned for that. That should be pretty epic. Get it. See what kind of footage we can uncover. Or what kind of information, guys? This is not for me. This is for the clients out here, guys. I got a million and one other things to do, but you know, obviously we're helping out over here as well. It doesn't. <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> 
<laughs> See you. <laughs> Woo! That's how we bag those iguanas. Jurassic Park, y'all. This is for real, for real, for real. Experience. Science experiment gone wrong, and now we have dinosaurs everywhere. There's a baby. We found a honey hole. There's one farther down by the water as well, too. There's a big one coming down to y'all left, to y'all right. Flooded him, nice shot. Thank you, bro. And another alpha. Flooded him, nice shot. Come on. Guys, this is Jurassic World out here. There's no other way to explain it. We're about to flood another one. Good night. Oh, no. I'm right here. Good job, boys. Dang. And there's one peeking his head behind this rock. They got flooded, son. Oh, wow. Oh, nice shot. Flooded him. Oh, nice. rolled him. <laughs> you rolled him. <laughs> Dude, he literally got hit and did a, a flip, an aerial in midair. Did a front flip. Death. Got flooded, bro. Guys, we're the dinosaur hunting team today. If you guys want to do some dinosaur hunting, make sure you guys uh, check out the description. We got some contact info out there for you. And then we could, uh... What did I go on, a four, a four you want to kill streak or something? Two impacts y'all putting in work. Check that out. Insane. We got another one right here, bro. Look, right here. Let him out. Where is he? Nice. Oh. oh. You got a runner. Nice hit. Good shot. Good shot. There he is. Oh. Good shot. Good shot. Stand right here. You see him. Okay. Right there on that bank thing. That dinosaur. Oh, that's a fat one. Let me, let me back to the jump on this. You ready? Yep. He's still at the same spot. Oh, yeah. He jumped in. He's coming over. He's coming over. He's coming straight over. Really? Yeah. Yeah, let's go on the other side. Another one right there on the bank. Good shot. Are you crossing? Yep. Nice shot. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Y'all are on the field with those FX. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. That's another one. We were literally out here last night. And what happened, Canaan? We got there, some. Yeah, we did. We got a few. We got a few, but nothing like day. in the morning, right? Yeah, it's crazy how many there are. Oh, I see him now. Guys, nice. smack those boys across. Oh, I see him now. Got him. Smack those boys across. Are you crossing? Yep. Nice. Better not or I'll go swimming in for him. Guana man style. Swim right into the neck, buddy. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, no. He's oh, coming he's right up. There. Hold on, hold on. Ninja, no. grab him. Hold on. Keep our eyes open for him. He's a big boy.
Guys, Jurassic Florida is for real. Look at all these dinosaurs that we took out over here, man. We got a lot of recovery to do. Another double. Goal. Is this a sign, guys, of the iguana apocalypse coming true? I don't know. Damn, son, we did well. Hey, let him go down a little bit. Him? Yeah. Wait. Actually, no. You're good. Sorry. Go ahead. Hey, bring the iguanas back with y'all. Bring the, if you see any iguanas, bring them back. Here. It's pretty crazy. And I get asked this question a lot. There are iguanas on this side, that side. What do we do? Guys, do iguana removal. That's all I can say. Good night. We're having, a, we're gonna have a great day today. We're having a great day so far. Oh yeah. We got a lot of them recovered. He's shaking his head till you know. Oh. oh, yeah. There's two of them. That's... Where's Donkey Boy at? Donkey Boy's right there. Yeah, that might be the one at the top. Really. If, you're, if we're high, it's right in the bank. Oh, right there? Yeah, but if you probably stand right here. Guys, this is the strategy that we've doing today. Obviously, our church school job is right there. We have authority to come on the other bank because the iguanas are jumping from this bank to that bank, terrorizing the school, coming back out here, grazing like they're goats, and then going back there to, to destruct the school, guys. Got the iguana ninja right here, boy. It couldn't honestly have gone any better. All right, full authority. And look at all the iguanas we were able to take out. That is incredible. Does anybody want to count these puppies out? Let's do it. For the, for the viewers? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, the Matt Daddy, 13. 13 of them. We do got a couple more on the other side, right? We do, yeah. All right, boys, there you have it right there. We're going to go the other side. Check that out. Impressive, man. Impressive. And, guys, not to worry, okay? We are doing the removal. But remember, people call iguanas chicken of the trees. Why do they call them that, Iguana Ninja? Well, a lot of people say they taste like chicken. That's, like, the number one thing. I'm gonna bleed him. <laughs> Not only are we doing the pest control, guys, but none of these iguanas are gonna go to waste. Not at all. All of these right here are really good to eat. Think about this, guys. Look at that. That's like frog legs right there. Woo. We got some tail meat right there. That's a tenderloin. Look at the size of these legs right here, son. Oh. Look at that. Imagine just eating that right there for dinner. You got a whole. Big bowl. Ooh. The. Huh. Guys, I'm getting hungry right now thinking about this, but we're gonna see you guys on the other side. Let's go ahead and bag these puppies. Straight from the field, straight into the kitchen, boys. Ow. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 
iguana salad. Mm -hmm. Guys, drop some comments on some recipes and let me know if you would ever eat iguana meat. Where's the two-tailed one? And guys, yeah, that's the two-tailed one. Check this two-tailed one out though. Whoa. Look at that tail, it looks like a crab claw. Or it looks like antlers on top of a deer. Or it looks like, I don't know what it looks like. Yeah. Guys, drop some comments, guys, and let us know why this iguana has two tails like that. Why? This is the second one we found, Ninja, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. We that found is... the alpha that one time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now it looks like we found a female. A Sheila. With two tails. Whoa. Guys, we have made it successfully back on the other side. Good news and bad news. We got a good recovery. Check this out. This is the trap I was telling you guys about. It's from Jessica from Iguana Solutions. Uh, she was kind enough to let me use it. So we're gonna test it out. We got some uh, peppers and some strawberries we're gonna throw in there. And we're gonna show you guys the result. Um, if you guys are having iguana problems and you wanna do trapping yourself, but you don't wanna do a single trap like the raccoon trap, I would recommend getting this trap. It's got two doggy doors. They go in, they get stuck. It's like a crab trap meant for iguana. So it is a custom made iguana trap. Put it like that and it works. Right in the head. Look at that fat hole. Oh crap. They're living in the limestone. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. That's a perfectly dug out hole precisely in the middle of that rock. Hey, guess how many we got so far today? Recovered. We got another 16 of them. 16? Yeah, I'll show you a picture. Yep. So we got 15 last night, 16 this morning. And I think we had about seven of them before. So we're at like, like 35 or more. Oh, come on. It's not a, It's not about that. It's about we're being resourceful. You're going to be eating good out here. We got some peppers. We got some berries. Get that scent in the air. Sweet pepper. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's good. It's like candy to an iguana. Look at that. Mm. That's delicious right there. That's, a, that's even candy for a human. Like a Skittle. Yeah. Taste the rainbow, you silly iguanas. I'm gonna pop that up just like so. Right, we'll throw a little chum right here. Just a couple pieces of rock. We're gonna we're gonna chum up this whole area, just like fish, guys. You want to throw some chum? Because if not, if you don't do anything, what would have happened? Oh yeah. The iguanas would just run it down, right? Yeah, I know. Poop on it. Whatever, whatever. Just run it down. They already kind of ran it down, but if you if people didn't do anything about it, it's like you just give it. You're giving them the land, you know. Good. We have guy likes to come and you know, <laughs> it's not gonna go to waste, all right, man? All right. <laughs> that really big frog leg. Very, yes. Yeah. All right, boys. After a good hunt, it's time to get some good food. Let me see the waist, boy. Let me see a little movement now. Okay. Okay, okay. That boy ready for some food. <laughs> good, yeah. What are you thinking? <laughs> A little roti shot right quick. We're gonna get some doubles for the boys. They're hungry. We just got done getting all the iguanas, y'all. So we got to get right. We got more work to do. So we're gonna. Right, let me bring the boys here. Let the boys feel up on some good food real quick. Mm. What you think? Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Right, later, right. later, boss. Good though, very good. Very good. Curry chickpeas with some roti, some doubles. But then you got some goat, some roti. Goat and roti. Got you. After a big hunt like that, boys, we, we deserve it, you know? <laughs> Let me see that doubles. Look at, look at this boy right here. I don't know what he, no, he signed up for right there. Ooh, dope. He really dope. But he said he already sweating, so he might as well. Already sweating. Look at all them cheeks. Damn. Guys, drop some comments if you guys like doubles. Or roti. Or roti or other island food.
you say Florida? Look at those silly little iguanas. Is that a big iguana? Yeah, it's a big one right there. There's a big iguana in this bush? No way. Yeah, he's right here. Where? Oh yeah, oh wow. That's a pretty big iguana. Whoa, look at that baby, yeah. We gotta put a trap. Yeah. They're loaded with them over here. They're all over there. Across the street. Oh yeah? All over there. Hmm. There's just a random hole on the side of the highway, right? Boys, Florida's in a world of trouble. That's all I got to say. And I've been saying it for the longest. Huge, huge problems. And, and we're going to see who has the laugh laugh, us or the iguanas. Yeah. Why is it so sticky in the bush? What? It's that. Right sticky, here. icky, icky. Oh, he's right. He's right here. tell the restaurant owners that there's iguanas out here. Yeah, let's go tell them. Let's be like, hey, we just wanted to try that. The grab of a thousand is still real. Like, we just wanted to let them know, guys, because we just ate food at this restaurant, but there are iguanas, so we don't know if they know about that, but we just want to let them know that we know that there are iguanas, and we want to see if they know. I built this tail. I thought it was going to break off. But I don't know. Wow. What do you think of that iguana? We just caught him. We're going to let the restaurant owners know. That we caught him. Why? What do you mean, yeah, why? Why don't you think I'm He's living. Yeah, I know, but we're, we have to let the uh, owners know that there's iguanas. Because yeah. iguanas are taking over the state of Florida. I They're invasive. You guys work for a company or something? Yeah. Like a pest control company? Yeah. yeah. We, we got to follow the rules. The FWC. Do you, guys know, do you guys know the rules in the FWC? I don't care. It's a living animal. I didn't mean to ruin your vibes. You didn't I just, ruin anything. No, you didn't ruin anything. Understand, but they're invasive. They don't belong. I, so and all you know this you stuff. You get in trouble for taking them from this location, right? It's illegal to remove them because they're invasive. And every time you catch them, you have to remain. We got iguanas out here. Yeah, yeah. You see them? Yeah, we just we just caught one. Oh, how big? Like that. Oh, y'all caught them. We just we just grabbed another one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just you know, I just wanted to bring it to your attention. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. potentially going to be iguanas all over here. Yeah. What? Well, okay. Let me stop it. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because there's babies right there. We can catch them now so they don't get big and then you have them all the We informed the restaurant owner and the couple that iguanas are invasive species taking over the state of Florida and we have to follow all the FWC guidelines. Any iguana caught must be humanely euthanized. Boys, that's the setup I was telling you guys about. This is the Walmart $20 special. So $20, you get a bait, you get this collapsible foldable rod, you get a reel. I thought it was a pretty good bargain, right? Yeah, 20 bucks. 20, yeah. What do you want for 20 bucks, yeah. right? <laughs> I figured, let me get it. We'll give it to the kids. We'll test it out. We'll see how it will. We'll try to catch some fish, right? We need bait. We need bait. So this is what we're going to be doing today, y'all. We have a fish trap right here. And we have some fish cat bait right here. And we all mix the original choice. We're gonna take you guys to a certain spot that has bait. We're gonna set the trap, see if we can get any fish, put them in a bucket, and then we're gonna rig up this rod and show you the ingredients real quick. Complete balanced nutrition, essential vitamins and minerals, supports uh, high quality protein. But look, this is the flavor that's in there. Chicken, turkey, salmon, and ocean fish. So that means there's oils, fish oils in here.
Just wait, guys. Just wait. Let's get him. Guys. Get him, CJ. They're eating the cat food. Where'd they go? Get him, dude. You got him? We got him. Whoa, what was that? Okay, no. Did you get him, CJ? Yeah. Oh, we got him, guys. We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Show you guys. O M G. Whoa. I love that fishing pole. Look at that, guys. A school of invasive snakeheads that we just caught. Look at them. There might be more. Guys, this is arguably one of South Florida's most invasive fish. And we got a school of them right here, guys. This is great. We've been trying to remove as many snakeheads as possible out here because yep. they're killing the bass. Literally. Yep. One of these snakeheads right here will eat thousands, hundreds of largemouth bass in his lifetime. Chance to examine fish like that, especially invasive fish. This close up like that, right? You're so, so oh, they're eating the cat food. Look, <gasps> they are. Whoa, like Rod said, they're usually like right next to their parents, but I didn't see any parents. You guys never know what you guys expect to see or catch when you throw cat food out here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Look at these guys, they look like cobia. Like a saltwater cobia fish. Look at him. Yeah. Nice. Off the rooster tail. Off the rooster tail. He nailed it. The cat food's working, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I did not expect this. I didn't think they'll go for this. Almost choked this. Oh my goodness. Alright. We're gonna go to the fishing spot too. We gotta set a fish trap with the cat food. Alright. Oh, Alright, cool. Here, throw them in the tank. We just wanted to, we're just doing it just for we just want to document the interaction between a, a invasive baby snakeheads and a bluegill. <laughs> Whoa, he's eating them. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I think he just ate like three or four. Look, he ate another one. He just keeps eating them and eating them. Whoa. He's smacking them. Yeah. Whoa. What we got here right here? Alright guys, we're over here at the other spot. We have the cat food, the meow mix. The meow? Shout out to meow mix. And we're gonna go ahead and throw a, a fish trap to see if we can get some bait. So this is what you wanna do. We have a fish trap right here. You can get these things on Amazon or eBay. Get a handful of meow mix. Throw it inside there. Just like that. And then we're gonna go right here and just place the trap. Is, since there's fish in to the meow mix, it's going to leave a scent trail inside the water. So hopefully some uh, bait fish go in there. But we'll be back in a little bit to check the trap. What we got going on? Guys, I think we see a freshwater shark or something like that in here. We threw a bunch of cat food and it seems like it chummed him up. And then uh, we seen him swooping out here. I think he was going after some fish. But we just threw out a piece of bread. Hopefully he comes back, guys. I think it might be a bull shark or something. Ah, I got it. I got it. If I get tight, then yeah. Guys, the shark keeps coming up, guys. Look, see if he's there. He's right there. Freshwater sharks, guys. Freshwater sharks. Look, he's right there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, my God. I'm about to get tight, guys. Please, please, please. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Are you cereal? They missed the bread. 
They're coming back, guys. Patience, patience, patience. Look at him right there. It's a shark. Wow. Just keep on swimming by, Mr. Shark. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Came up, scooped it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. We need a net. Grip the net, Ninja. Oh, he's in the air. Oh no. Come here, Mr. Shark. Oh no, don't eat air. All right, we don't want them to eat air, guys. These sharks sometimes yeah. do. Ninja hugs, I'm gonna run and get the net. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. Yeah, just grab him by his tail yeah. and bring him in. There's a shark. Record. I'm bringing the shark, we got it, we good. We got a shark on, boys. Oh shoot, is that shaking? Ain't ready yet. You got No. Oh, he's so fat. Look at that shark, boys. Oh my goodness. Last time he get air. Shoot, he's not ready to come in yet, he's massive. That's a big carp, bro. Oh, OMG. Come here, buddy. We just want to say hi to you. We'll send you back. I promise. Ninja, grab him by the gill. The gill. He ain't going to cut you. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's off. Ninja! Ah. No! You missed it. All right, guys. We're back. We got more fishing poles, more bread. We got a net. Yo! Whoa. What do you see, Ninja? He's on. Oh, Ninja's on? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, there's ducks. Hey, Mr. Duck. Wait, what? It's a snook. It's a snook? Yeah. No. Alright, guys, run another shark. Must have pulled. There he is. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Alright, guys, neat. we're not losing this shark. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Chomping Jewfish. Look at this thing. Where's the net, son? It looks like, almost like deja vu. I'll go in there and get him. Hold on. He ain't ready yet. This one's a fighter. We got a shark. Another shark, boys. Hold on. We learned our lesson last time. And you've got him right in the corner of the mouth, boys. Oh, my gosh. He's so strong. There he goes. All right, he's going, boys. How about get nice and tired. We don't want him too tired, because these 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 sharks slash carps, guys, they uh, look at them. They get they get tired easily, and they can they we he can they can float. We don't want him floating. They they swallow air, guys. They're like big goldfish. Look at this thing. Oh shoot! Whoa. And you know what's cool? These are actually invasive species in other parts of the world, but here. In Florida, we, re we release him. I'm going in after him. We just want to just get him out as quick as possible and then put him back. Oh, look at him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's gone. All right, he's not ready yet, boys. He's pulling that drag. Oh, he's taking off. Oh, my gosh. He's so strong. Go behind him, Ninja. Just get his tail, Ninja. Get his tail. There he is. Oh, smokes. Oh no, your boots, boy. It's okay. Oh my gosh, look at the size. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got, I got. Come here, buddy. Big Bertha. Oh my goodness. The, the line popped. Oh, it's right here. We're right here. Let me get the hook out. Right in the corner of the mouth. All right, hooks out. Hooks out, boys. Hey, I'm going to get a quick photo of him real quick. Y'all come behind me. Come here. Come on. There he is. Oh my goodness! You got a good shot of that, DJ? Oh yeah. All right, boys, let's send him back. Nice and easy. You want to revive him? Make sure he's good. Big, strong fish. Come here, DJ. Take a look at him. Come on, buddy. take off. There he goes. There he goes. Nice, strong release. Perfect. That was amazing. That was a pretty good fight. I knew it was a catch one. Sheesh. All right, boys, we're going to need to take a, a little break after that. Are you good, man? Yeah. Are those boots waterproof? Uh, sort of, yes and no. <laughs> okay. It was well worth it. Thanks for that grab. Yeah, no problem, dude. He's like, yo, the second one, we're not letting it get away. Yeah. You guys seen it right there. Perfect, healthy release. He swam straight to the bottom. Super strong. And uh, let's see if we can get another carp. Let's see if uh, Iguana Ninja or Jeffrey or DJ can get one. Thank you guys so much, man. Let's get another one, boys. 
Oh my God, oh, Jeffrey, don't lose that fish. Jeff hey, hey, get a net. Jeffrey, don't horse that fish. Guys, we have a big piranha on. Oh my God, it flew out of the water. It's right there, son. Whose line is it? He really, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, Jeffrey, don't lose that fish, dog. Are you serious? There's Paku out here? That was ridiculous, son. He flew out of the, there he is, did you? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't touch the line. Hold on, hold on. Get him in! Let's go! Oh, 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 oh my goodness! <laughs> Bro! This is a, the biggest Paku red belly. Can you get at the own uh, what's it call it? Dude, no got got freaking way. Is this a Paku or a Piranha? We gotta see his teeth, man. Piranha got sharp triangular teeth, Paku got oh. flat teeth. You know when like those boats be like flying by those fish and they just jump out the water? That was him. exactly. He what projected he himself. He flew out of the water like Twice. three, four feet. Oh, that was freaking strong. Let's take, let's look at him. Whoa, look at his mouth, dude. Should I take a picture of your face, Jeffrey? Wait, hold on, hold on. Bring him up here so you don't go back, back in. On. Let's take a look at him, boys. And oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. No way, dude. Bloody hell, bro. That was <laughs> What do you eat? Cat food? No, he ate the um, the bread, bread I brought. That was the bread? Yes. Haku on bread? That's Man, ridiculous. I, I told you guys, cat food is the magic ticket to catch fish. They're, they're in Davie or in Miami. The first yeah, one I caught, I caught, I caught a red bitten Haku, but it was a small one. In, yeah, in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was in Miami. All right, flip him out. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Oh, that's a Haku for real. Oh. Mouth is discombobulated. He's been through a lot. Yeah. Whoa. Missing, be careful. Be careful. He's missing his face. Oh. Whoa. He is. Oh, he's what missing his upper lip. Come on, come on, What happened to his? He's missing face. his face or a piece of his lip. Uh, that boy missed his whole mouth. That boy got no teeth. Hold on, honey. <laughs> Y'all can have him. All right. Okay, it's a Paku. Pa it's a Paku. Come on, hold that for you. A Paku. A what? A Paku. It looks like a piranha. Oh my god! Oh shit, I just showed my son that! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right? That looked like yeah, something in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Well. Alright, boys. DJ, come here real quick. Let me let me let me let me get the hook out of him because it's very delicate. Guys, I just want to show you guys something real quick. Look at the, the face on this fish real quick. He's legit missing his uh his upper, his upper lip. He's got his bottom jaw. I can feel his teeth right there. Wow. Let something bite it off. He's got sharp teeth. This might be a piranha, guys. Look, look at his teeth. Get a, get a close, hit. Yep. <laughs> that might be a piranha. They are in the same family, guys. But if it's a piranha or a paku, let us know. But we do got to get him back in the water, guys, all right? And guys, look at that right there. We caught a giant uh, freshwater uh, shark, AKA grass carp. And now we caught a giant uh, freshwater piranha, AKA a paku, y'all. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see out here in South Florida. Get one more look at his face real quick. Come on, DJ. Yeah, come look at his face right quick. Come closer, DJ. Look at his face. Guys, drop some comments and let us know what do you guys think happened to this Paku's face. We do got to send him back on the way. Uh, there is more of them out here, I'm going to assume. And we might even have Zach catch them all come back out here one day and help us get the rest of them. What the hell is this thing? But he's still eating. That's a big, that's a big one. That thing is huge. Come on, Big Bertha. Come on, baby. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Want to revive this fish? This fish just fought for its life. We're gonna give you guys one more look before we send her on her way. Look at that specimen right there. First look, that's a piranha. Oh wait, is that rain? Just in time. The fish guys are like, all right, you guys had your fun. Get out of here now. Make sure she's good, you know. Yeah. All right, there she goes. Oh yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. Oh, man, did you ever catch a Paku before? Huh? You ever caught a Paku before? This is my first time. Hey, hey with the game. That boy Jeffrey was fighting it like a pro too. That's what I'm seeing. I see. You literally just cast that like 20 seconds ago. How did he eat it so quick? Get that turtle out here. Whoa. I literally have a soft shell. You can actually eat those, dude. Yeah. Oh no, bro! Is it still is it still breeding season? He's running. I think so. He's running. 
Guys, this is insane. He's running. Bring him in, bring him in. Guys, we have a, a it looks like a, a, pa a pancake turtle. That's okay, DJ, we got drag. Let, the, let him run the drag. Yeah, that's fine. Just bring him right in. Bring him right in. Bring him right in, right in the bag. Yes, Whoa! Sir. Call me the ninja net man. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Don't step back too. That thing. That yeah, thing. Right. So definitely get back. Yeah. Especially yeah. young boy. They might have a long neck, and he's hooked right on the outside of the mouth. We got pliers. All right. Yeah, Maybe we. Back of the trunk, Ooh, let me see. Look at his shell. Whoa! Soft shell. Soft he's got a leopard. Whoa! Yeah. Super All right, let's let's get the let's get the pliers, guys. Let's get him unhooked. This is insane. Muffle. That turtle will mess you up. So this turtle, he looked like he got a short neck, right? But that neck can come out about eight, nine inches. No cap. So Ninja's got experience with dealing with, with wildlife. He's going to go ahead. We just want to safely get the hook out and then uh, get him back. But watch out, Ninja, because he will try to snap it at you. Look, he's oh. he sure crazy looking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, shoot. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whoa! Hey, Cause look, it's not enough. I don't have. It's not too tight. It's Got just it. his neck is. It's not. It's, their neck. Back, Ninja. Let me see how long. That, no, neck. that's how long it goes right there. Whoa! He's still a baby. Yeah, he's still a baby. Their neck could probably from where from right here, probably about like right here or even longer. Whoa. These guys have really long necks. That's where their nose are like that. Hold his neck. Don't let him go. Do is. They just take the nose out and have it just put put the surface out the water out the surface and just. So you saying? So you saying he gonna stick that little snout out and then he can breathe yeah. and go under? So just yeah. So so that his whole body is under the water and only his nose is he using the breathe. God. <laughs> That is awesome, guys. Out? Yeah, we, the hook is out. Look at those nails. Whoa, look at him. He's like a duck on the bottom. It's like a platypus. Whoa. This is a small one, though. These things get big. Guys, we're going to take a quick photo, and we're going to send this little soft show back. Y'all ready? Look at the camera. Three, two, one. Money. All right, let's get him back in, boys. Nice, healthy recovery, and let's see if we can release him. The silly turtle. Watch out, Ninja. He wants to give you a kiss. <laughs> Just like that. Back into the wild. Good job, team. Good job. Good job. We're getting a lot of valuable information right now, guys, in the Florida ecosystem. It's insane, guys. Who? Meow Mix? <laughs> Oh, you need one more. Oh, oh. oh. 